best-selling author of Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game, and founder of Extraordinary Sports Medicine, my good friend, Dr. Joni Liu. I have two sons, Nolan and Aiden. And sometime after the birth of my youngest child, my husband and I had a very serious discussion. You see, I didn't want to be on the pill anymore, and we didn't want any more children. So we decided that he would go in for a vasectomy. So it was done, and we thought it was over. But sometime later, I found out I was pregnant again. My doctor confirmed it, and she said, yep, they botched the vestectomy. So I went home, and my husband and I had another very serious discussion. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, we made a very, very difficult decision. And I cried, and I cried, because I never thought that I would ever do this thing. But you see, we were a young couple with our whole life plan ahead of us. And we already had two little boys that we loved so much. And we knew that we couldn't financially and emotionally support another child. So that night, we decided that we would have an abortion. But when we got to the hospital, the nurses were so great because they know how hard it is for a married woman who already has a family, who already knows what it's like to have children, to make a decision to terminate a pregnancy. So it was done, and we thought it was over. But later that week, I realized that I still felt pregnant. I went to a walk-in clinic, and they confirmed my worst fears. I went back to my doctor. Look, maybe this baby wants to live so badly. Maybe I should just continue on with the pregnancy. And she gave me a long, hard look. She said, no, Joni, this baby is damaged. You don't want to bring a damaged baby into the world. So I went for the second procedure, and this time it worked. I went back to being a loving wife and mother. I went back to my career as a professional engineer, and I buried the story. <clears throat> Several years later, I went back to school. I studied Chinese medicine, and I started my practice. Then in 2012, my oldest son, Nolan, had such a severe concussion that it temporarily blinded him. Since then, I have dedicated my life to helping people to heal their damaged brains. Because I realized that my purpose is to repair damage, and my mission in life is to make mental health and human potential the primary focus of healthcare throughout the world. So what does it take to heal a damaged brain? Well, I've spent several years studying and researching the brain and psychology and connecting all the dots. I've written three books on the topic, including a bestseller. And I've helped many people, including professional athletes, to make a full recovery. And it doesn't matter how long they've had it, how severe it is, or how many they've had. So today, I want to leave you with five things that you need to know if you ever suspect that you have a concussion. So number five is forget x-rays and MRIs, because the problem is functional. It's not structural. Number four is to stop drinking alcoholic beverages until you make a full recovery, because they only make things worse. Number three is to eat and drink only room temperature to hot foods and beverages because you need all the energy that you need to recover faster. Number two is to get back into your regular routine as soon as possible because research is now showing that more rest actually makes things worse. 
And number one is to use your mind to heal your brain because positive thinking only works if you're feeling positive. My name is Dr. Joni Liu. And if you haven't felt good for a very long time and you don't know why, it might be a hidden brain injury. Please visit me at drjoni.com. And I want to thank you all for allowing me the opportunity to share my story and my passion about helping people to heal and repair their brains. Thank you so much.